Hi guys, this is going to be your weekly energy reading because I totally forgot to do it yesterday. <laughs> but this is your weekly energy reading for the week of December 2nd through the 8th. Um, I am going to be working with, and sorry for the weird angle, but I have like my box here and it's a little bit higher than I normally like for the vertical, but we're doing what we can. So this is the Crystal Angels um, Oracle. Really was feeling these cards for today, so I hope the messages resonate with you guys. It was just something I felt intuitive that we needed, a little bit of Doreen Virtues Crystal Angels. And then I'm also working with, I don't have the box for it, but I'm working with just a Rider weight tarot deck. So I already pulled the cards. Go ahead and make sure you pay attention to your sun, moon, and or rising sign. Um, and we are going to go straight into it. So earth energies, earthy vibes. We have rubellite, the rubellite crystal, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaning, meaningful project that is dear to your heart. Beautiful. You got, you guys also got you guys also got the five of wands and the page of cups. So this is a weak earth vibes to use that use that that zest that motivational energy like the rubellite card is saying to create something to do something. Today's message today's daily was also about that. It was about like manifesting your desires, creating the things that you want in life. And so I feel like this passion and purpose is like. Earth signs, you guys really need to start asking yourselves, get serious, start asking yourselves, what do I really desire? What do I want to manifest? What do I want to create in this moment, either this day, this week, or for the next few months? It's, it's, start, it's time to start kind of evaluating yourselves. Take a look at yourself physically, if it's a physical goal, um, or a mental goal, or a past life goal, or a future goal, whatever the case may be, earth signs, but it's time that you guys start doing that. And I feel like it's more so stop being competitive with other people. Stop worrying about what other people are doing, the direction that they're taking their own paths. It's time for you guys to take charge and ownership of yourselves. No longer worrying about anyone else. And then also, um, pay attention to those little muses, those little inspiring things that happen. Is it something someone says? Is it something that you see on TV that inspires you to want to create and do something amazing? So this week, pay attention to those little hits, those inspiring moments that happen. Um, something that just triggers that within you because that is going to be the start of something amazing. Something amazing for you guys. Air signs. You guys got tanzanite. It says, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. You guys also got the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So um, for my air signs, this can be for some of my peoples who are recently um, out of a relationship or maybe you recently stepped into a new relationship, but you were fresh out of one before. Um, these court cards are kind of indicating male, female, you know, so just depending on who you are. Um, but I feel like for some of you guys, if you are on the brink of jumping into a new relationship after being out of another one, I feel like it's like, it's kind of like these cards are saying like, you've healed from the past enough to open your heart. It's saying there's nothing else that you could have done. There's nothing else that you can do. Forgive, forget, and move forward, especially for my air signs who are single. Okay. My air signs who are in a relationship. This is to me, if you guys have the tendency of looking back down the road of where you came from your relationships from the past being nostalgic about stuff like that um it's kind of i feel like these cards are kind of saying this week don't do that don't do that to yourselves why dig up old wounds why why bring that stuff back into fruition so it, to me it's kind of saying you've done what you can you've done the healing process the, the process the, the work let yourselves move forward let yourselves move onward I love it. So hopefully you guys will relate. This, the air signs that might not relate to everybody, but it is what it is. Um, oh, we have like all purple cards. Um, so then my fire signs, Azurite, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you were willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So um, fire signs, this card is indicating a need for healing, that this is the time. The time is now 
to allow yourselves to dip into the healing waters, literally, like giving yourself that time. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So some of my fire signs are hesitant to go through this healing process. I feel you guys are juggling your ideas. You're juggling your feelings right now. It's kind of like, do I? am I ready to give you up? Am I ready to let go? Am I ready to move on? Some of you guys are going through that, that like juggling moment. And so if you are, if you find yourself feeling this way, no rush. You don't have to jump into it and start doing it but it will be beneficial. So just keep that in mind. But if you're finding yourself kind of emotionally like on a flip flop right now, there's no rush in having to make a decision. Um, you guys also got the page of wands, which is new inspirations coming your way. So this is, this could be in the form of new loves, new crushes, or just new activities, new inspiring ideas, things that will just kind of divert your, your, your attention to whatever the healing is needing. Okay. So if you're going through something in life right now, whether it's a, it's a heartache or it's losing a loved one or it's losing your job or not feeling motivated for the new year, or whatever the case may be, maybe you need a little bit of a distraction and maybe that's what that page of wands means. Maybe you need a little bit of a distraction to kind of jumpstart, get your mojo going again. And then let's see. <laughs> so it's not quite of uh, the purple, but... So the water signs, we have apophyllite, increased support, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So increased support water signs, you guys are the supporters of a lot of the other signs. As water signs, we usually hold on to the heavy stuff for other people. We hold the sacred space for people. We hold the, the space for our conversations where people can come to us and vent. A lot of my water signs, myself included, we find ourselves in those situations we are the pillow for people to fall on but you also have to ask yourself where is your pillow right do you have a pillow to fall on <laughs> um and so we have the nine of swords and we also have justice and that is exactly the vibe i was feeling is even though we are increased support we have the support for other people where is our support right? And I feel like some of my water signs are going through that right now where maybe we need someone to talk to, we need someone to reach out to, and we have nobody around, or at least it feels like we don't. Um, that nine of swords indicates some of my water signs. Maybe you guys are struggling this week with nightmares. You're struggling this week with like getting good sleep. Um, the justice card can indicate lack of balance or an imbalance because I'm seeing it as a reversed, okay? So some of my water signs, if you just are not feeling put together this week, it's okay. We can't always have a positive, amazing week, but I feel like these cards are indicating a need for self-care, to reach out for support. Sometimes we need somebody else to hold us up, okay? We can't always be the supporter for everyone else if we can't even hold ourselves together, okay? So um, I the other thing I wanna say, that's why I got this done so fast, I have two minutes, is <clears throat> all of the crystal cards for all of us, with the sake of Pisces being a little bit more in the blue side, they're all literally, this is all third eye chakra energy, This these colors. Third eye chakra in the center, obviously like right around here, Third eye is your intuition, it is your psychic abilities, it's your ability to foresee things, to feel things. Um, but the but the third eye is your intuition, you guys. So I feel like this week, um, with, the, with the cards coming out all the same or similar color tones, we all need to work on trusting our intuition and utilizing the intuition to guide us through the next day and the day after that and the day after that. When you are trusting your ego, your ego is overthinking. You are overthinking situations. You are overthinking um, any little choice that you make. You're, it's self-doubt. It's literally doubting and it's, it's your obstacles. You're, you are your own worst critic kind of thing. That's your ego. But when you're trusting your intuition, it's that little voice inside your ear. It's your, your higher self telling you. It's God. It's messages that you see. It's words on license plates. It's numbers. Things that catch your attention that are guiding you to a different path or a different decision or enlightening you and giving you that message. So trust the third eye vibe this week, you guys. Utilize some crystals. I would say um, amethyst is probably best for that if you love the crystal thing. But other than that, you guys have a beautiful week. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry I forgot yesterday, but 
better late than never. <laughs> Bye, my loves.